I'm so ashamed. I am supposed to be a hero of the Genova War. But look at me. Don't take all the blame. Reeve. Huh? You're not thinking of giving up, are you? I used to be nothing but a stone in the river of time. But three years ago, it was you and the others who taught me I had to move ahead. Vincent. She won't wake up. She suffered too much trauma to her head. Unless there's some kind of a miracle, she's... She's not... <sighs> Vincent! You were there! Why couldn't you save her? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... She was a fool. You have no right to call her that! You don't know! You don't know what... Why? Why would she do something so... <laughs> Before, when I asked Shalua what she was searching for, she answered her reason to live. It was you, Shulk. You were her reason to live. So? I don't understand how someone could give her own life for that of another. Do you understand, Vincent Valentine? Mm. I can't answer for your sister. But... But? When a person has someone they care about that much, giving their life is sometimes the least they can do. And maybe that's what makes us human. Someone they care about. Although, it seems like there are a lot of people around me who don't need a reason to risk their lives for that of another. And are you... Vincent? Vincent? Fall asleep here, and you might catch a cold. <sighs> Why are you so surprised? Is my face that hideous? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. 
And how are you supposed to be my bodyguard if you're up here sleeping? Uh, the warm breeze. I was only going to rest my eyes for a minute. Hmm. Well, I have to admit, the breeze is quite comfortable. However, I think you're in my seat. Huh? <laughs> Care to join me? data fragments responding Vincent I agree with you this is not the time for us to give up but I need to know something those data files you recovered from Shinra Manor are you sure there were not any more I'm sure I see What's wrong? Well, the Omega report. The file was incomplete. To make any sense out of it, we are going to require the other half. If possible, I wanted to know more about our foe before we launched the attack on Midgar. Are you speaking of Dr. Lucrezia Crescent's findings? Yes, but how did you... A large quantity of her mnemonic data fragments has been uploaded into my neural network. It was my prime directive to use this data to locate and retrieve the proto-materia. However, not only was the data incomplete, but part of her consciousness began interfering with my own thought processes. It was believed that the missing fragments may have been the reason for this. I can attempt to upload the WRO's files on the Omega report. By combining it with the data I possess, you may obtain a clearer picture of what you will be up against. And perhaps I can regain control of my mind. Get up and go! Come on, get on board! Yeah. Forward visibility approximately 95%. Communication channels radar clear. functioning normal. Network terminals online. Wide area scan shows no Gamma link operational. Radius. Adjusting settings 6281. Begin Low line test in sectors 2 Power through levels, 6. 128%. We need oil on the L3 axis. Green. G9 friction levels up to 0.024. Operating the lower valve. Main propeller at 80%. Propeller speed. 
up 0.3%. Monitoring signal AJ109. All blocks clear. Main engine output normal. Now switching over Secondary to auto sensors. Secondary engine functionality check. Green. Hey, Vincent! Long time! Captain! Oh, sorry about that. As much as I'd like to sit down and reminisce about old times, you'll have to take a rain check. Why don't you have a look around my bird until the meeting? Deep ground soldiers, a ruthless band of killing machines determined to revive Omega and bring this world to her end. And at the top stand its Fiets, a small group of elite warriors more powerful than the rest combined. Rosso the Crimson, Azul the Cerulean, Nero the Sable, and their mysterious and enigmatic leader, Vice, the Immaculate. It is believed that confrontations with these four will be unavoidable. But their defeat is necessary for our mission's success. However, I'm not worried. I know that you and the others will not let us or the planet down. Mr. Valentine, it's me. Don't you remember? I was one of the Highwind crew. That bird was a beauty, but this ship's just as sweet. And you won't believe this, but she runs on some mysterious ancient power. But you don't have to worry. You'll be safe in my hands. Wait a minute. Where did this button come from? Oh, no, you didn't hear anything. Approaching destination. <laughs> Sir, I've been spending time analyzing the data retrieved from the files of former Weapons Development Administrator Scarlet. Deep ground. It used to be a medical facility for injured soldier troops. Military personnel would be sent there for care and rehabilitation. However, over time, it evolved into a laboratory for madmen content on ignoring all laws of man and nature. And supposedly, this evolution took place because of the existence of one rogue soldier. A man known only as G. However, that's all we were able to retrieve. Midgar. After Meteor Fall, the once bustling metropolis was reduced to rubble. There have been attempts to rebuild, but deadly Mako radiation leaking from the damaged reactors still contaminates most of the area. Now it's just a home for vagrants, and the soldiers forgotten there after the calamity. Most of us turned our eyes away from the problem, but someday we'll be forced to face it. Chocobo farm in the grasslands, haven't you? They've got the biggest stables around. I keep my new river Chocobo there. He was born just a few weeks ago. I named him Boko. Boko, a noble name for a noble steed. I can't wait until this battle's over and I can go ride him off into the sunset. Beautiful, isn't it? I've been a crew member for almost three years now. You'd think after a few hundred flights, I get tired of the view. But you know, when I realize that this may be my last time up here, my last chance to take a glimpse of the land I call home, I just... I just wanted to get one last look.
much as I'd like to sit down and reminisce about old times, you'll have to take a rain check. Why don't you have a look around my bird until the meeting? You know that little girl? She's locked herself up in the sick bay since we boarded. After Shulk's half of the data, I've been able to make more sense of the report. But I still require more time to piece together the fragments. I will give you all a detailed briefing at the meeting. That Dr. Rui? She done gone sacrificed everything she had to find that there little sister of hers. But now she's... I just don't want to see nothing like that happen to nobody ever again. And that's why I packed up and joined the WRO. I took part in the calm operation. But... I... I wasn't able to save a single person. That's why this time... Maybe I'll be able to do something worthwhile. I'm not gonna let Deep Ground have its way anymore. Sir, did you notice the ceiling? It changes over time. Aren't you amazed at all the things technology can do? It's like magic. If only I could design something this remarkable. After the assault begins, the headquarters facilities will no longer be available. And to think, just a few days ago, I was the one who was in there. No, forget I said anything. What are you working on? I'm in the process of modifying this equipment so I can perform an SND, a synaptic net dive. 
Synaptic net dive? My specialty within the Sviets. While retaining consciousness, I project an image of myself into a virtual reality called a network. I can also use this ability to negotiate with data on the subconscious planes of sentient life forms. However, this often involves a great risk to my own sanity. For Shinra, the success of the SND project was crucial for their next step in. I'm sorry, I seem to have gotten off track. Simply put, I'm creating a personal network terminal within the airship's main control console. What? Nothing. You just remind me of your sister. If you don't mind, I need to complete these modifications before the meeting. and the remaining WRO squads will leave the ground assault. Well, we launch our attack from the air. Right. So, Reed, you ready? Yes. Data fragment link. Successful. Commencing synaptic net dive in three, two, one. as we return to the planet when our life light is faded. The planet returns to the cosmos when her time has come. Anything that has definite shape will one day cease to exist. The same is true for this world. Before she takes her final breath, the pure life streams that flow freely beneath her crust will be brought together into one.
Y Omega, the ultimate life form. His purpose? To gather all life, sentient and non, and lead it into the Sea of Stars, where it will embark on a fabulous journey along a road untraveled. However, when Omega has lifted the life from this planet, all that will remain what? will be an empty shell destined to die silently in the limitless void of space. Omega is the same type of life form as the weapons we encountered three years ago. The planet gave birth to these creatures to protect itself, just as the planet will ultimately give birth to the final weapon, Omega, when the end of the world is imminent. In essence, Omega is an elaborate safety mechanism designed solely to maintain and protect the flow of life. Normally, Omega poses no threat to us. It only manifests when the planet has detected something that may cause her danger. However, Deep Ground is attempting to awaken the beast early. Thus, the kidnapping. By slaughtering thousands of innocent souls, they are creating a pure life stream in order to trick the planet into thinking the end is near. Yeah! Why, those conniving? I don't know what this Vice character is trying, but he's crazy if he thinks we're gonna let him get away with it! Right. Omega is being revived deep beneath Midgar in Mako Reactor Zero. To increase the output of Reactor Zero, all the other reactors have been tied into its mainframe. Our objective is to destroy one through eight and slow the reanimation process. Mission details for each squad will be relayed separately. All right, we've still got some time before the big show. You got anything needs tending to do it? Don't worry about the reactors. We'll take care of those. You work on those four wackos. I don't like letting you have all the fun, but... You know, I can't leave my baby here alone. Cloud and the others will be shutting down the power. And there's no way we're letting Yuffie go down there by herself. Sorry, buddy. Looks like from here on out, it's Vince versus the Sviets. We're counting on you, old pal. Sir, I've been spending time analyzing the deep grip. It used to be military, however, and a man, however,
was still a kid, I wanted to be in Soldier. But those men and women in Deep Ground, they're nothing like the guys in the poster I had on my bedroom wall. But you know, I wonder if they wanted to be in Soldier, just like me. Hey, I'm not going soft or anything. I'm ready for action. Our enemy, the Deep Ground Soldiers. They were all once just like us. They all had families, friends, even feelings. So, why did it ever have to come to this? What compelled Shinra to commit such hideous deeds? Now, these once normal people continue to kill because it is all they know. Are they solely to blame for their actions? No, I'm not condoning what they do. I will never forgive them for the terror they have instilled in the hearts of my brothers. They're our sworn enemy, and that will never, ever change. But I'm not fighting simply to end their lives. I'm doing it to end the chaos that they started. not much longer until the Midgar Offensive begins. The last time I saw action was back during the Liberation of Edge, where my entire squad was wiped out by that bloodthirsty Crimson Soldier. The only reason I survived was because I fled from the area when I saw my companions fall. But not this time. I finally realized that there are some things in this world that are worth dying for. Sir! I ain't no hero, sir! I ain't got what it takes to save the world! Not like you did, sir! But I'm ready to fight! And I know that there's somebody out there who needs me to fight for them and their freedoms. And that's why I don't mind taking second stage to the heroes of this story. Heroes like you. I'll do all that I can, and I'll do my best, sir. While this airship is named after Sid's wife, construction of the vessel wasn't performed by the captain at all. Our team of loyal scientists here at the World Regenesis Organization, or those criminals at Shinra, weren't involved either. To tell you the truth, the ship is not even from this era. It is a relic from a lost civilization. Most of the machinery in the engine room is boxed up in black casing, so we don't even know what half of it does. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no need to worry. Even though we cannot reproduce the technology, we can still put it to good use. I can almost guarantee there will be no problems. Almost. Haha, <laughs> before we get to Midgar, I'll have this baby purring like a kitten. Hmm, hope I'm not petting her the wrong way.
back to Wu Tai as well. Thanks to my dad and the Wu Sheng, things didn't turn out as bad as they could have, but. But I'm worried about my old man. He's not as young as he used to be. He's gonna have a heart attack one of these days. If not, give me one. today. <laughs> Headquarters was pretty much destroyed by the Deep Brown forces. But I was able to salvage a few things. Number seven, nice to meet you. crucial for this planet's survival. I'm not concerned with the reasons this person has for helping us. As long as he continues to write checks. Though, I have a feeling it is probably someone who believes he is in debt to the planet. Vincent Valentine. What? This feeling. Is this what you meant? By doing something for someone you care about? <laughs> it seems so. Dr. Crescent's data has begun defragmenting within my mind. I can see many different images images she experienced with you interference recovery so so tired You know that little girl? She's locked. become so important. All this you see around you, everything here, he put up the gill for it. Of course, that's on the condition that I help him save the world. 
What I want to know is where he got that kind of cash. <gasps> when all this is over, how about we grab a couple of cold ones? Just like the good old days, huh? Even Cher has been worried about you. And you know how she gets. <laughs> When all this is over, how about we grab a couple of cold ones? Just like the good old days, huh? Even Cher has been worried about you. And you know how she gets. <laughs> I've been a... But you know, I... Deep ground soldier, and at the top, Rosa, and it is be but they're different, however.
When all this is over, how about we grab a couple of cold ones? Just like the good old days, huh? Even Cher has been worried about you. Man, you know how she gets. <laughs> A simultaneous attack from land and air. Hmm. I think they may be serious this time. They had better be. I've been so bored lately. His awakening is near. Let tonight be the final chapter. Vincent Valentine. What's this? Your phone. I retrieved it in calm. I've modified it slightly. Just dial pound VIN to contact my personal terminal directly. From this workstation, I can perform a synaptic net dive into almost any network system in Midgar. I may also be able to help guide you into deep ground. It's not what you think. By monitoring your movement, Dr. Crescent's data fragments are restored within me. 
I'm simply providing this service for my own benefit. I didn't say anything. I, uh, anyway, my resources here are limited. Do not expect too much. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Shulk. Uh, uh, I, it's just, I've never actually been counted on by anyone before. Uh, uh, never mind. Well, then. Can I count on you to keep an eye on the airship while we're away as well? Huh? I have already witnessed your strength and skill once. This is war, and we have to be ready for anything. Your assistance would be of great help. My assistance? Exactly. Commissioner! Ah, excuse me. Vincent, I will see you again before deployment. And Shell, remember, I'm counting on you. Uh, uh. Fighting for. Away. Secondary squad, prepare for drop. Damage to the Shara minimal. Damn! They're gonna pay for that! <laughs> 